Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a simple overnight hair growth spray for faster and thicker hair growth. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also get all of the information that you need. Now this recipe contains two main seeds that my amazing Indian friend swears by when it comes to faster and higher growth. I share with you guys a video about a recipe some time ago. I will link it somewhere up here or in the description box so do feel free to check that out. But this is her hair guys. You can see she's got beautiful, long, thick and amazing hair. And her hair grows longer than this. It's just that she cuts them all the time because it's just... It just gets too long and is annoying and she was really really glad when I asked whether I could share this with you guys and she was really happy so I hope that you enjoy watching so the first ingredient we're going to need for today's spray will be some fenugreek seeds now fenugreek seeds have amazing benefits when it comes to hair growth it helps to revive damaged hair it fights dandruff it controls scalp inflammation it adds shine and soft texture to the hair and it also prevents premature growing. It prevents hair loss. So really, really good um, at promoting hair growth. Now the next ingredient will be some black seeds. Now black seeds, again, are amazing when it comes to, um, to hair growth because it helps to maintain a healthy scalp and treats dandruff and it keeps your hair very nice and moisturized. And it also contains great vitamins to stimulate hair growth. Now the final ingredient guys will be some um, cloves. So these cloves are uh, blended. That's why it looks like this. It's like a little powder. But it's fine to use, you know, whole cloves if you do have them. Cloves also help a lot with hair growth by increasing the blood flow to the scalp. So I added about a, a teaspoon of that. And then I'm pouring some hot water to this guys. I'm just going to let this infuse for 24 hours. Now you can cook this on a stove if you want to and perhaps if you're looking for like a quicker um, procedure but it's fine to just pour some hot water on this and just allow it to infuse overnight. Now the next day this is what it looks like. I'm just going to show you how much the seeds have swollen by, like it's crazy. So you know it's ready when your fenugreek seeds have actually doubled in size. So we're just going to go ahead and strain this. Also notice how the water has changed colour. So it went from like, you know, clear to this sort of sluggish goldish colour. And yeah, that's basically ready to strain. So I will be using my regular sieve to do this. But if you're using the powder just like I did here guys, you will have to follow these two steps. But if you use the actual cloves, like the, um, what's it called, like the whole one, not the powder one, then you don't have to do this, the step that will follow after this. Um, because essentially, because I use the powder, I still had a bit of the debris at the bottom and I had to use um, my kitchen paper towel just to get, you know, rid of all of that. Um, but whole cloves will not give you that essentially so this is what it looks like um, afterwards I'm just gonna use my paper towel just like I, I, I said earlier guys and just you know get rid of the excess debris now it's fine to use a coffee filter as well if you have that uh, but if you're done use the paper towel from your kitchen but just make sure it's nice and strong Now this is the bit of clove powder that is left on my um, paper towel here. So essentially if you didn't do this, that would have got stuck in your hair. So I'm just transferring this to my spray bottle and that's pretty much it guys. Like this recipe is very nice and simple yet very effective. 
Now I suggest that you keep on watching because I'm going to talk a bit more about how you can use this to maximize results so you want to make sure that you stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, if you guys had been watching my previous video, you probably would recall this footage. Um, so essentially what's happened is I did record, you know, uh, the footage of this actual spray, but I did lose it. So I just thought I would, you know, use another footage that I have and just sort of go through how you would use it. Um, just because, you know, it does take time to actually sit and, you know, record and basically I do want to have to go through and do it again. Um, just because, yeah, it just like, takes a bit of time. Um, so I do apologize about the fact that this is not the right footage. But just listen carefully to all the instructions that I'm going to be giving you guys. So essentially, um, how you want to use this, you just want to spray on your hair, just like I'm doing here. So spray to your roots, your end. So you make sure that your whole hair is covered with this. Um, and then you want to go ahead and twist your hair. Okay, guys. So twist and put a heat cap on. You just want to let this sit on your hair for about two hours. And then you can go ahead and shampoo this out of your hair. Now, that's one way that you can use it. Okay, guys. Now, the reason why I suggest you do it that way is because it does have a really strong smell. And if you cannot stand the smell, this is the best way to use it. Okay, guys. Now, you can also use it as an overnight leave-in spray. So, you can spray and leave it in your hair. Now, if you are going to use this as a leave-in spray, guys, I suggest that you also use an oil or a butter just so you can seal the moisture in your hair. Now, I must also mention that the spray on its own may not be moisturizing enough for every hair type now i do get asked this question quite a lot about some of you guys who tried you know this place and still find that your hair is still dry um so essentially the reason why that is it's just that maybe this spray is not enough so it might be better to go in with a short bulb leave-in conditioner like a, a, a creamy one just to give you a slightly longer lasting moisture uh, but for most of us, including myself, just spraying my hair like this with this spray is just enough. Uh, but like I said, it may not be enough for, for everyone. And if it's not, guys, it's okay to use a short bought leave-in conditioner. But you also want to go in with an oil or a butter, just like I said before, just to seal the moisture in your hair. Now, this spray is very simple, very easy to use, and it does help a lot in promoting hair growth if you're consistent with this. Um, and I do hope that you go ahead and give this a try. So, um, yeah. Okay guys, I do apologize again about the lost footage. So essentially, I accidentally deleted it from my camera. Um, but I do hope that, you know, you guys have got the gist of how to use this. And if you've done and you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I'm always reading the comments and I promise I will be answering them. So I do apologize for that in advance, guys. Now, thank you for made it to this point of the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, especially if you enjoyed watching. Also, subscribe to the channel, guys, if you're not already. And also remember to share this video with somebody that you know, because I do believe that there may be some people out there that actually need to see this video. So don't forget to share it. And I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.